know, in television, they always say they save the best till last, and, and we certainly didn't plan it this way. And I'm sure some of the other dishes probably appeal to you more than this, but not to me, because I am a caviar nut. And Steelhead Diner in the Pike Place Market, Chef Kevin Davis is going to do a caviar pie. And Pam Crouch, I thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing that in. Mm -hmm. When did you run into it, and what do you think of it? Well, I went to Kevin's restaurant, and I, my companion ordered it, and I thought, mm -hmm. oh, I don't know about this. When he brought it to the table, I was like, oh, my gosh, my eyes rolled back in my head, and I started clapping and haven't ever stopped eating it. And so. you borrowed a little bit from your friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you did. Okay, Pam, I'm going to ask you to step out. We're going to ask Kevin to make a caviar pie for us. Chef Kevin Davis. When, right. How did you run so into a caviar pie? You know, I've never heard of it. This is an East Coast dish, and I first I first experienced this dish at, at uh, Mark's place in Miami in the in the eighties. I used to work for him. Uh, say, I guess it was eighty four. You know, Mark Militello. I'm sure you quite you quite familiar yeah, with him. Caribbean cuisine, and, and so it was in the eighties, eighty four or eighty five, and he used to make this dish, and people used, used to go crazy over it, and it kind of dropped off into obscur obscurity. But then. Um, uh, when, I, when I started putting the ideas together for this restaurant, uh, still had diner that we're doing, and, 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 and this dish popped into my head, and I remembered it, and I remember the act or the reaction that people used to have uh -huh. when they ate this dish, and just like just like Pam said, you got it, it again. sounds a little it sounds a little comp it sounds a little complicated, maybe a little strange, but when you taste it, you just won't believe it. Okay. So anyway, let's we're gonna make it real quick, and, and right. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna enlist a little help from each of you. You got it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about. Two, two or three tablespoons of in the cream cheese okay. and put it in here. Okay. Kevin, I've got to tell you, my wife Betsy talks about this caviar pie from her childhood, <laughs> which is essentially the same thing. But I've never seen it with all these different caviars. Oh, and this is it. what makes it there you the okay. color and the and the uh, variety of yours is, so, just sends it right over the top. And this is what makes it interesting. But it's also pretty versatile. You can use you can use uh, several different types of caviar, or you can you can you know use simple caviar. It just depends on what's available. So what I have here is uh, five different types of caviar. Now I'm going to put them on. A napkin to just dry them off a little bit. Okay. And so this is a golden white fish. This is a farm American sturgeon, which is actually quite good. With I the, love that one. <laughs> yeah, with the ban of yeah. with the ban of caviar, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the the Iranian uh, uh, Russian etc. caviar. I think we turn to mm -hmm. to California and and uh, American farm. Uh, sturgeon caviar is actually quite delicious. I think they're doing a beautiful job with it. They it's are sustainably it, raised and exactly. So this is a golden trout caviar. It's a little bigger uh, egg. Isn't it? it is a little bit of larger egg. And when you want to do this, when you do this dish, you're going to want to keep all the caviar is very cold. So this is a saffron <laughs> white fish. Where do people get this if they want to make this dish at home? Can you buy all these in the Pike Place Market I've somewhere? You know, I've seen these at Whole Foods, and I know I, around the holidays, I've seen I've seen the guys at Pike Place Market. Uh, some of the fish purveyors are bringing in caviar, uh -huh. and I, and so I know that you can get them. I have seen these at Whole Foods Market, but you're probably going to have to ask um, ask uh, your your favorite fishmonger, the one that you trust, to bring these in for you. Now, What's this last one? I'm sorry, the brown one. This is a truffle caviar. This oh, is wow. a truffle caviar. Let me have a sniff. There you go. <laughs> and it, has, it is colored with, with a little mushroom wow. uh, food dye, and they're all natural food dyes. But as far as I'm concerned, you know, if you want to do, if you want to do just the American sturgeon, mm -hmm. that's as, that's delicious as well. So I'm going to take these and spread them out a little bit, okay? okay. And probably just want to turn them get a little bit of the moisture out of them. And I'm going to keep those separate. So with with a separate spoon, dry them out a little bit. And you see how the moisture comes off a little bet. bit. If you, you leave that right. on, if you leave that on, it may it may bleed out into your caviar pie and make it a little bit soft. Okay. So anyway, let's go ahead and assemble the caviar pie. All right. Now, Greg, if you would take a little of the chopped egg. Okay. Okay. This one. This chopped egg and make oh. make a um, just a little bottom on the bottom of that pie and spread it out to a, a very fine layer. Oh, this is okay. chopped onion. Yeah, I'm sorry, chopped onion. Okay. <laughs> like Did a I tablespoon? Say onion. That's yeah. okay. The egg's right there. Make make a a nice smooth even crust. 
And we're going to take a little bit of sour cream back into this. A nice, smooth, onion. even crust of onion. Kevin, it's been so fun to follow you from Sazerac and then Ocean Air, and now that you're your own place, I, I bet you're going to be doing stuff better than ever. I've just, I've loved everything you've done in Seattle. Thank you, Greg. I, I, I tell you, we, my wife and I, we couldn't be happier. It's a, a great location. We couldn't have uh, got a better location, and, and so many people um, have come forth and, and kind of helped us put this project together um, that we're just amazed at, at the at the way it came out. So hopefully. Hopefully we'll get you over there in the near future, and that you know, uh, you can't I guess some away. of your viewers will be able to come in and and take a look at it. So, as okay, so the onion okay. is down. That's okay. perfect. Okay, and now in a, a mixing trickier bowl. trickier than I thought. <laughs> right. Can that onion even? In a mixing bowl, we'll take like this one. About two tablespoons of the egg and okay. one tablespoon of the mayonnaise, a pinch of salt, and a pinch of salt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make egg, with a tablespoon of mayonnaise and a pinch of salt. Right, and we're going to make like almost an egg salad. Okay, it is oh, an egg salad. It is homemade egg mayonnaise. Is that wonderful? And that's going to be spread over the onion. Okay. And to make another layer. Great. Okay. Okay. So let's see how this is coming out. You definitely want this to be nice and supple. That looks good. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more of this in there. And Greg, you got the you got the idea perfectly. Obviously, Greg Atkinson is one of the premier chefs in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, I don't know about and that. And he is, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any, any qualms about delegating something like that to Greg. No, indeed. No, okay. indeed. So. Okay. So let's get some cream cheese on top. So cream cheese and sour cream. And like I said, you, you kind of want to make sure, it's really important that you, that you make sure it's nice and so you spreadable can spread it, yeah. and doesn't have any lumps in it. So let's see what it looks like when it all comes together, even if we don't get it perfect for the yeah, let's put for this one. Okay. You know, we when um, people used to make this for parties back when I was a kid, like cocktail parties, it never was as as beautiful as yours. And and oh, you know what I love gorgeous. most about it is this little um, little individual sized portion that you could send out to a table, like a couple. And it, there, it's also great if you make them large as well so so we've got one like this that you did before in the fridge Here exactly and so so when it's all smoothed out it's going to look like, like that magic <laughs> just like magic beautiful okay okay now all those caviars come together exactly so this. what you're going to do is demold it first after it sits probably four so hours or yeah two four part, hours or even overnight it's uh -huh. fine. So you demold it like that. Yeah. And then, basically, let's see. Do this. we have a plate to put it on? Got a plate down there. Okay. So you take your caviars. Should I take it out and put it on the plate? Yeah. Why don't we do that? Well, actually, I like okay. to, I like okay. to uh, in the leave it in the plate. So... You make a ring like a corona almost. Sunny, bright yellow. Actually, you can do a, a lot of different designs, but bullseye is probably one of my favorite, and it also makes sure that if you're going to cut it, that everybody gets a little piece of it, of, of each different types of type of caviar. But okay. we're going to bring okay. Pam back Let's in here because we're running like... short on time here, Kevin. Okay. But uh, the folks can see what it looks like when it gets to the table. You want to? And. Uh, we're going to let you have some of that orange. Do you want to bring, <laughs> bring that one over here? Um, right. They'll see it. It's it's okay. all going to be on the camera. Can we have but some spoons here and let Pam take a little bit of the yeah. this beautiful orange caviar? Oh. Pam, there thank you, you. Are you going to... Okay. Maybe we can just make one little pie wedge there for Pam to taste. There you go. And let's get some of this one on here. Some of Definitely. this one? Yeah. Oh, this one yeah. looks just like Savruga, you know, that gorgeous gray. Yeah, yes, it's and this one. Yeah. And Pam, you ready with your spoon? She sure we're is. We're tasting, we're tasting. Pam, you, you have to get down to the get wire. We're tasting anywhere you want. Oh, my gosh. Go for it. All oh, those caviars. Good. And you oh. can just make a ring of each one all the way around. Yeah. Okay, you want to get what, what, what best on a crouton. Not bad this way either. <laughs> You want to make sure you get all the egg and the onion on yeah, a crouton. And the best of the best, folks. Okay. Parsley. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it, Kevin.